In today's video, we have the HPX 16890SA, widely regarded as one of the very best 16th scale RC cars in the entire world, and we're going to put it to the test. Also in this video, we test a pair of CNHL LiPo batteries by putting them head-to-head -head against another very popular brand battery of the same specs to see if there are any real-world differences in the way these batteries perform. Then we take to the dirt, and then we take to the skies. This video is an absolute blast. Let's get into it. HBX 16890SA brushless. And this really incredible little basher is widely considered by many to be one of the very best 16th scale budget bashers you can possibly buy. We have brushless electronics, standalone receiver, standalone ESC, oil filled shocks, and a camouflage body. I hope I don't lose that in the grass. And yes, the wheelie bar is missing one wheel. You'll see why in just a few minutes. I've heard a lot about the insane durability of this RC right here. And in this video, we're going to put that to the test. Let's get to it. This car does run 3S, but as you can see, the battery compartment is a bit small. I suppose there are such things as smaller 3S batteries, but not by much. But we made it work because we're skipping 2S. Even though the car does generously come with two 2S batteries, we're going to run 3S today. And of course, we're going to answer the age-old question that everybody has about a new RC. How fast is it? Let's find out. That car definitely requires that wheelie bar. It is a little wheelie monster. Oh, good thing we didn't pull out in front of that. Let's give it the beans. Oh, 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 oh where, where, where are we going? Let's give it the beans again. Oh, I love that they have the brakes set gently on this car. It'll still stop, but it won't just lock up the wheels and flip the car over. It will also help preserve your gearing. Oh, this little thing's pretty good. I can already tell this is going to be fun. Oh, 36.7 miles per hour. I was expecting more around 33 miles per hour, but 36.7 on a 16 scale budget car that's this cheap. That is plenty fast. Oh, should have done that. I really like the suspension. It's got oil filled shocks and they've definitely got the appropriate amount and weight of oil in them. Oh, I love that. It just soaks it right up. And it's a good job, too, because we're taking that to the skate park in this video. Real good air. Oh, wheels. Ah. For such a small RC car, it's actually pretty good in the air. And it lands softly enough to where it doesn't just bounce back onto the roof. A lot of small scale RCs will do that when you take jumps. They'll land just fine, but then they'll bounce back onto the roof. This one, right onto the wheels and stays on them. Let's see if we can actually ride a wheelie. Uh, sort of. Oh, off-road, it's not bad either. I can't speak for everybody, but I tend to love these small budget bashers, especially when they're well-made like this one. They're plenty fast enough for the size, plenty capable enough off-road to stand it up into a wheelie pretty much whatever you want. Oh, this is gonna be a blast at the skate park. You can actually drive pretty aggressively on the road without spinning out so much. See that suspension working? That's always cool to see, I love that. Now let's race against the Limitless, go. Oh, oh my God, that was almost a massive crash. Oh, nice backflip, beautiful. Perfect. All right, guys, we've got these two 3S CNHL 6600 milliamp hour batteries, 120C, 240C burst, and we're going to run it in that against a set of batteries that are actually almost identical in spec. We're going to time how long the car can run on these batteries for, and we're going to measure its top speed on each set of batteries. These batteries versus these. They're both running 6600 milliamp hour, 120C. These ones in my hand can do 240C burst. I don't know about the... Chins. You guys know the brand name. We'll link them in the description alongside these. And we'll see which batteries run the car faster and longer. Go Chin, whatever batteries. Nice. God, they handle so good. 13 minutes, 50 seconds so far. Wow, that's pretty good. What's the speed? We've got 59.2 miles per hour on the Sochin batteries. The car is very conservatively geared. We've already seen this car do 100, but this gearing is good for this test. 
59.2 is what the CNHLs are going to have to beat. We just got into LBC about 25 seconds ago. So we've got 18 minutes, 19 seconds. Knock off 25 seconds. We're looking at, what, 17 minutes and... 54 seconds and so that's, that's pretty Indians. good now i don't know if the cnhls are going to last that long because they do have 240 c burst which is that's discharge rate but they run 120 c constant apparently we're going to pop them in see how fast it is on these batteries and see how long it lasts i don't know if the battery life will be quite as long with that 240 c burst but i think the top speed might be about a mile an hour or two faster now we're going to give the car a few minutes to cool off it was pretty cool when we put these batteries in it so we're going to let the car cool off pretty much back, back down to ambient temperature to make this test as fair as we can possibly make it and then we'll run it so richard you're uh let me see let me see let me see you are somehow only 86 degrees so you're a you're a cadaver pretty that, cool, huh? that's yeah that's really cold what was mine again 91.4 yeah because i'm a hottie i smell vinegar vinegar huh yeah. I'm, I'm smelling a douchebag over here. <laughs> <laughs> About the same temperature it was the last batteries that we ran, so let's do this. We'll find out what it does on these batteries. Zoom! Oh, that was so rock steady. Check that speed. Oh my God, 66 miles per hour on the CNHL. It's got to be that 240C burst making the difference. That's, it, yeah. That's a seven mile an hour difference pretty much, right? Close to. That's impressive. That's well Hold done, CNHL. Just on a battery change alone. Both 120C, but I guess the 240C burst in these is real. Now the question is, how long will they last? Because with that kind of burst, with the ESC and power system drawing that kind of current, they might not last as long, but holy cow, you definitely got noticeably more speed just out of those batteries alone. Shout out to Brian RC Stuff, a friend of mine and a fellow YouTuber. Link to his channel in the description. He's the one that told me about these batteries. And shout out to CNHL as well for sending us these batteries. So far, so good. You can literally smell burning rubber. <laughs> LVC. All right, we finally hit LVC. Wow, perfect timing. What do we got? We've got 10 minutes and 46 seconds. So battery life isn't quite as long as the other batteries, but with a higher 240C discharge burst, uh, C rating, blah, blah, blah. Definitely, I didn't expect it to last as long, but I also didn't expect it to last as long as it did. 10 minutes and how long? 10.46.25. 10 minutes and 46 seconds, nearly 11 minutes. <laughs> and we got seven extra miles per hour just on a battery change alone. But if you're doing speed, then it's really, yeah. it's really that's that's really good. Yeah, it's it's like it's like gearing up peak? a two uh, yeah a tooth or two on your pinion gear. That's amazing, just on the batteries. Just on the battery. I'm very impressed. Well done, CNHL. This car does come with a full set of paddle tires. Oh, those paddle tires actually look pretty cool on this truck. Let's go to the dirt. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. Cool to see Wheelie on the dirt with the battle tires. We're going to try to race that fire team with this little HVX. Go. Oh my God, Wheelie right off the bat. Oh, I'm riding a Wheelie. Oh, I think that wheelie may have cost me this race. And here we go again. Three, two, one, go. It's easy on the start. There we go. A little better start for us that time. Oh, much better, much better this time around for us. Oh, fire team takes it again, but... Oh, not bad for such a tiny little car. I've got to give it some credit. Go. That was pretty good. The little HBX actually wins that one. Oh. Look at that. Oh, I hit a bump. Oh, that was a good race. Fire team takes race number two. Oh, go. Oh, my God. What a close race. Oh, I think the fire team just edged at that time. Good race. All right, let's go catch some real air at the skate park. Oh, we did it. Oh my god. Try some half pipe action. Oh wow, that was a nice catch. Beautiful landing. Let's go for another one of the nice pretty back flips. Oh lovely. Oh, did I land that? Oh my god. Amazing. Oh my God, that was a hard, hard landing. Right on the wheelie bar. Oh, almost. Oh. 
Oh! This little thing is tough. It is really tough. Oh, we almost landed that. So far, so good. Gear mesh looks good. I don't see any bending in the drive shafts that warrant mention. Let's keep going. Oh, beautiful. I'm loving this car here. This car is awesome here. We did a wheelie on a banked wall. Oh my God. No damage. Oh, this thing is kind of a skate park hero. Ooh. Oh my God, it landed on the wheels. Oh, we almost made it all the way across. Slide down this wall. <laughs> that was actually way smoother than you believe. That was like a sliding board. Oh, God. Oh, that was such a hard landing. We are in good shape. Still going. Oh. Oh, my God. Still on the go. This car is insane here. Lovely. Ooh. Oh, something else fell off. Car still running perfect. I saw. Oh, amazing, perfect landing. This thing is incredible. Full speed all the way across. Oh my God. Oh, oh, we, we broke it something that time. Oh, actually we didn't even break anything. We just knocked out a drive shaft. We knocked off one wheelie bar wheel, but we are getting massive, massive air with this thing. Incredible air. And the car's actually okay. We're just missing one drive shaft. Oh my God, guys, we found the drive shaft and the car is actually fine, except a couple of the bottoms of the shocks came off. No big deal. The shocks are still working just fine. And bottom hinge pin popped out. I could just pop it back in. I just didn't bring any tools with me. But otherwise, the car is still perfectly fine after all that massive air. Unbelievable little car this thing is. This is one incredible little machine. Concrete landings. And all we've essentially done is undress the bottom of the shocks and knocked out the hinge pin. So because the car isn't actually broken, it survives the skate park. And if I had only brought some tools, I'd be able to put this hinge pin back in and we'd be on our way back into huge air. Oh, and we did break one of the wheelie bar wheels off, but after about 40 or so feet in the air and coming down directly on just that, of course that's bound to happen. Incredible car, link in the description. Absolutely proud to recommend this little car. It is a blast. And even the body isn't damaged. Look at that, the body's fine. It's a little bit scuffed up, but all you do is just take off the plastic film and underneath you have a virtually brand new looking, nice clean body all over again. It's like having two bodies. Here's how unbroken this car actually is. We found the bottom shock caps. We put them back on. The shocks are completely fine. I'm gonna pop the drive shaft back in, pop this hinge pin back in, and we are good to go. It'll only take a second. Good as new. This little thing is amazing. There's an X-Max over there. Flipped over. Ricardo, you like this car, don't you? It's your first RC car. And you got all kinds of goodies. You got batteries, chargers that come with it, a set of paddle tires. And I like this car so much, I'm gonna immediately spread the love of this car by just giving it to my friend here. His first hobby grade RC car. Take good care of it. Actually, don't take good care of it. I'll just fix it for you when it breaks until you learn how. It seems like you don't have to. It's tough. 